Logan Stripenheimer Bobskin, better known as Bong Boy, the lovable co-host of Prince Corner Studios. What? Do you want it, Craig? Well, um, he's in a bit of a mess right now as a recording, but he wants me to replace him for the time being. Now, what is the Choice Cuts Tournament? Well, to put it simply, this little tournament is almost upon us, and I, along with my good friend Esteban, will help us explain a big chunk of stuff that you need to know. Say hello, Esteban! Hello, darlings! It's such a pleasure to meet all of you! Uh, you? Uh, you? And uh, maybe you? Uh, not you. <laughs> no, just kidding. I like you too. Dude, I only said hello. That's all you had to say. I'm sorry, honey. Well, at least you said hello. Speaking of hello, I should introduce you to all of our contestants after the tournament's information first. Let me explain what the Choice Cut is all about. In this event, the audience, and even you, along with your family and friends, should you have any, of course, We'll decide if your choice will make the cut. Only one of these 16 challengers can win. Whoever wins will have their content added to the Craig's Corner channel. Permanently. To find who's the big cheese, and since we love redemptions, the bracket is in a double elimination cross diagonal bracket. You know baseball where there's three strikes and you're out? Well, it's kind of like that, but there's only two. He's right. Whoever loses on the top bracket will drop down to the bottom bracket. And if you lose the bottom bracket, you're out! And speaking about, whoever loses starting on winners round 2, anyone on the left side will face the next match on the right and vice versa. But long boy darling, what if the results end in a draw? How are you going to do with the tiebreaker? Coin flip! Really? Oh! How will our contestants duke it out? Our fighters will duke it out when their hot temper against each other... <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I, I can't speak more of this. Hold on, hold on, I need a break. Our fighters will duke their hot temper against each other in the studio, grabbing the hearts of said voters. In video, of course. Now that that's out of the way, I guess I can lend this uh, cut spot to you. All right, the honey. I, Esteban, am going to show you our contestants. Best of all, I'm going to have my lovely narrator to tell our viewers who are our contestants. Bonaparte Mizutori! <coughs> <coughs> oh, yeah, I definitely do need a break. Uh, how long have we been recording? Uh, 30 minutes. Uh, hey, Trish, I think we should stop recording for now. Uh, is this mic on? Uh, I just read everything on that teleprompter over there, right? Yeah. Uh, um, uh, um, hey everyone, I'm Bonaparte, I'm, uh, Craig's brother, and I'm gonna be reading everything here. I don't have anything else to say, so, uh, without any further introductions, <clears throat> let's begin! Wait, they were a team all along? I thought they were solo contestants. Hmm. Dream collabs are a thing to witness. And these two are... Destined to happen. Hatsune Miku is collaborating with Off The Hook member Marina Ida to bring a virtual concert to the studio as Hatsune Marina. If they win, this channel will feature... Content relating to the Splatoon franchise like gameplay, lore, new speculation, and merch reviews. And content relating to anything Vocaloid or virtual idols and fans, such as pretty much anything relating to Hatsune Miku and her friends, software used to make songs, and VTuber content. Originally, these two were going to have real bands and idols alongside virtual idols and bands. We're not touching K-pop. 
but VTuber stuff on this channel? Not sure we have the money in software, but it does sound pretty interesting. Long boy VTuber. I'm pretty sure that would be pretty cool to watch. Hippity hoppity! This tournament victory is now her property! Size does matter, because this pint sized hero packs a punch! Or. Lick. Hailing from an alternative dimension where everything is roughly less than a foot and fits in your hand, Small Froppy hops from her world from here to win! If she wins, the content that you'll see will be as follows Stuff relating to. Content relating to My Hero Academia and anything relating to Shonen Jump. This could be current and former Shonen Jump comic and manga series like Dragon Ball Z, One Piece, Death Note, and even Boba 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 Bo. I nailed it correct. There, there's like seven bows, right? Small Froppy does not get access to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Someone else has that. Also, JoJo is now part of Ultra Shonen Jump. You know, ever since Steel Ball Run, so I guess that's kind of a reason. She also gets videos relating to frogs and anything relating to Froppy. Also, Small Deku and Small Bakugo could be part of her thing, for example, but we'll exclude shipping for safety measures. We're not gonna ship here. That stuff is not allowed here. Go do that yourself! Sleeping through the morning, active at night. But this schedule has this beast called Bulbous, hailing from Piana 44. It's Bulbor! This bipedal slug grub dog will chomp down the competitors round one by one. Or one round by one, sorry. Uh, uh, but look, what I said back there, it, it was a metaphor. But of course, we'll make sure to not let something like that actually happen. If this little grub dog Bulborb wins the entire tournament, this channel will be dedicated to do Pikmin related content, like in general, memes, tier lists, and other videos relating to the series, and culinary arts and nature, like recreating Louis' cooking notes using real meat rather than actual bugs. And, be and it actually sounds really nice. And who knows? A Pikmin plush series is just around the corner. We were thinking of a Pikmin meme review from Reddit, but Craig strictly said, No, 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 we're not doing any of that Reddit stuff. Also, can someone tell me in the credits, what is a Fiddlebert? Like, why is there a green Olimar there? I don't know. A feline fetal from a future where all hope is not lost, comes to share a message! Get Rivals of Ether merch! Pre-order Rivals 2! Uh, I'm sorry, uh, someone that edited that part in. Uh, we'll get that fixed later. Claren wields her iconic plasma sword, and an unlikely partner. Eliana! A mech-driving revenge-filled serpent is no match for any of her foes. These two will bring Rivals of Ether content from memes, gameplay, and anything relating to the series. Examples are anything from Lovers of Ether or the spin off series, Dungeons of Ether. And as of recording this, please go pre order Rivals of Ether 2 once it's announced. Also, they'll get content relating to Claren and Eliana, ideally, a plush series dedicated to them along with the other rivals. Also, get Rivals 2 when it comes out. Okay. Why is there so many shilling in this one here? Look, I know it's a good game, but seriously, I'm pretty sure just telling them once is already good enough, right? Right? Also, isn't Eliana like in somewhere else? Yeah, it, it, is it, isn't she like in another, another place? Oh, 
Uh, she's a spectator. Ah. Oh, of course, she's just a spectator. So, of course, we can't really have our role here. She's multi just with Claren. It's, uh, just Claren. The internet's other beloved wicked partners. It's Wario Partners LLP. After showing up in Siva Gunner's two King Per Day tournaments and landing a sweet job, not in the game industry, but the taco industry, they teamed up once again to not only take over for one day, but to have garlic scented videos and content. The content the duo will bring if they get that fat Wario size W is. Wario and Waluigi General meme videos, both curse and dank. Wait, do people still use the word dank anymore? I don't know. Uh, you know, on second thought, I, I really don't think people use the word dank anymore. But yeah, so uh, videos will be something relating to anything like gameplay from Wario World, WarioWare, and Waluigi Pinball. Maybe something like. How you're not supposed to play this game in a certain style, maybe? Or actually recreating a real-life Waluigi pinball? Uh, I guess that would be pretty cool, but... I don't know if we are able to make a pinball. It must have taken a lot of work and a lot of money. And WarioWare-style videos for other series, like a Craig's Quarter WarioWare-style game. Think of the possibilities! Like a Furret WarioWare. Sounds funny! But no one wants to play that. Unless, of course, you are a person of culture. The retro trio of a long gone era with fresh new paint from Dreamland's very own Adeline, Rick the Hamster, Kind the Sunfish, and Cootie Owl are arriving with a pitter patter, splish splash, and a flip flap. Sure, they may be animals and party like animals, but at least they stand out by not acting like animals. If they win, these three will bestow upon you gameplay, lore, analysis, memes, and any other content relating to the Kirby franchise. This could be around the lore of Dark Matter, or discussing upcoming or previous Kirby games, along with Kirby news. Originally, they were going to have anything relating to the HAL Labs, but when your flagship IP has more power and fame than the entirety of your library, no, I don't know, it kind of sticks out like a, like a little sore thumb. And a possible new Kirby Plush series will also be tagging along, but mostly about these three. All the Kirby Plush series would revolve around these three. Of course, Kirby, King Dedede, Meta Knight, Bandana Waddle Dee, and many other dream friends will be joining along. So pretty! So cure, but most of all, so tropical! Manatsu Natsu- <coughs> <coughs> I mean, Cure Summer, all by herself, is given the mission to spread the joy of motivation! Wait, does she really do that? I don't know, I never watched the show. I don't have a Crunchyroll subscription. Wait, what do you mean, you don't know her? Well, luckily for you, if you give her the chance and let her achieve her victory like she does beating monsters on the usual weekdays, she will give you content relating to the series she heals from, the Pre-Cure series. The stuff that will be in Pre-Cure will be stuff in general like the series and several memes, along with magical Bishoujo manga and anime content like Sailor Moon, Oja Majo Doremi, Cardcatcher Sakura, and Tokyo Mew Mew. But we're mostly focusing on the Precure stuff, rather than the others as mentioned. But we will focus on them as well. And finally, videos and memes relating to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. 
Ultra Jump, and Seinen Anime and Manga. She gets Jojo instead of Small Froppy because her literal voice actress is the same as Jolene Cujo. I'm not kidding. Look it up afterwards. In round one, match seven, Kira Summer will face Small Froppy. Hey, did you know? Mama Shibas are here to stay every day! The leader of the nostalgic Mama Shibas of a long gone era is here. Half dog, half fiend, but I'm certain that they are the cutest things you've ever seen. Out of the pod and into the match, Edamame will bring you content relating to content around the Mama Shibas and their respective franchise and random trivia. Because of their single source, ideally, the biggest reward we can give them is a plush series dedicated to that bean dog. The trivia stuff usually goes into the shorts. Wait, only that? This is all I can say? Well, here's your round one loser entry. Unless, of course, you'll like this thing. Snake? Snake? Snake! Oh, where could he have gone? After the technicianary mercenary himself has gone missing in action, anime-loving Otacon had decided to find him and get him back to base. Of course he's not doing this alone. From Fate Apocalypse is the horse-riding femboy, Alstolfo! The duo will scour the reb and grass to find their missing target. If they win and find him, as a reward for your help, they bestow upon you content relating to Metal Gear in general memes, otaku culture, and bait and switch discord memes, like the rules of nature and senior Armstrong stuff. You know, something you find in your local meme pages. And videos relating to Alstolfo in general memes. And as a bonus, Alstolfo will bestow upon you the Fate and Grand Order content, along with anything from the Anaplex Library, like Gruen Logan, Full Metal Alchemist, Demon Slayer, and Bochi the Rock. And yes, I will get Craig to get that Astolfo Beam Plushie. Oh, and yeah, they also get a bait and switch anime memes as well. In round one, match two. Otacon and Astolfo will face Hatsune Marina. Yo Koso to Japari Park! Well, I mean, welcome back to Earth. After squawking Sayonara back in 2017, Grave Kun sensed a mighty horror that reached into the afterlife. Kimono Friends has dipped into the bowels of forgetfulness. His spirit has landed him back in the tournament, hoping to revitalize the magic of humanoid animal anime. Despite something like that already existing, okay. He brings content such as anything to relating to Kimono Friends in general, and any anime and manga created by Mina Yoshizaki and the Kadokawa manga franchise. So if you're a Kiroro Gunso fan and you want to see something like that, along with uh, Kimono Friends, vote for Grape-kun. He also gets videos relating to penguins above cuteness and memes. So in Club Penguin, I mean, just like Club Penguin, both are dead in the flesh, but are immortal in spirit. I heard he's bringing in some sort of special guest. I wonder who it is. Oh my squirrels! It's the White Dog Squad most famous Koma Inu dogs, Koma-san and Komajiro! Better known here as 
the Koma Kyodai. Need bottom of the barrel blaster. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to do that uh, Sergeant Burley voice, but um, I guess I can't do that. These bottom of the barrel blasters turn big boss slayer dogs are gonna show the world that Yokai Watch is alive despite level 5's constant neglect of the series and complete abandonment in the West. If they win, this channel will be summoning videos and content relating to Yokai Watch in general memes, like a Yokai Watch Plus series dedicated to these two. Game reviews like Dance Dance Revolution for the Wii. No, seriously, there was like a Yokai Watch Dance Dance Revolution. I'm not sure if it's good, but uh, I don't know. I never, I never played that. And propaganda to get level five to localize more of their games. I mean, look, Professor Layton, that game slaps harder than a drunk father's belt, but this is ridiculous. Pretty sure we could update a little bit more. Like maybe we could talk about more about a level five stuff. I mean, uh, I guess that counts. As long as they're, you know, Japan exclusive and people want to play it, then uh, I guess we could also do that. In round one, match six, Koma Kyodai will face Rick Kainen Ku. The king comes aboard! The crumbling tyrant himself, King K. Rule, made his smashing debut in Ultimate, and he wants to make sure that you, yes, you, he's a king. Of course, every king needs a bodyguard, and he brought the one-winged angel himself, Sephiroth. With these two Ultimate Kings will bless their followers, should they win of course, with videos relating to villains in Smash, and non-Smash fighters in gaming, such as videos relating to Bowser, Ganondorf, Neocortex, and these two bad guys for example, and villains relating to the Donkey Kong, I mean videos relating to the Donkey Kong and Final Fantasy series alongside Rareware, Retro Studios, and Square Enix. These can be memes and other content relating to the DK rap and mashups of One Winged Angel. Anjo Kazooie and Nier Automata are not off the table, and unfortunately, despite being part of Square Enix library, Kingdom Hearts is owned by Disney, so there's one exemption. In round one, match three, the Ultimate Kings will face Wario Partners LLP. The Ashen Demon, the Professor, the one fighter who we never asked for, it's Violet. He's bringing his rage and is ready to thrash it out at his opponents. We'll, uh, we'll get him a pillow to punch and scream into. Despite his lingering grudge against everyone in the Smash roster, he still has a modest heart and will give out a helping hand. If you give him the level up he needs, the lesson he'll give you will include content dedicated to the Fire Emblem in both general memes and gameplay. Because of his connection to the Fire Emblem series, the channel would provide content relating towards anything from intelligent systems, including Paper Mario, excluding WarioWare. Alongside that, as a professor, this channel will provide short clips showing you how to do some math formulas, which I doubt will do anything. As a Fire Emblem plush series, Oh, and a Fire Emblem Plus series, uh, I really need to get my eyes checked. I forgot to add that there, but with the math equation and Fire Emblem stuff, yeah, I think he's going to lose immediately. In round one, match four, Violet will face Allies of Ether. Do you like bugs? Well, if you are in a bug-loving competition, you're never gonna win with him in a way. It's Flick the Chameleon. His determination to get more entomology enthusiasts caused him to leave CJ for the time being and get cracking on his quest. 
if he nets himself a victory in this tournament, the content that he'll give to you on this channel will be Animal Crossing content in general memes alongside with games in the cozy farming simulators like Harvest Moon, Garden Story, and maybe Cult of the Lamb. I mean, it's kind of a bit of a farming in some cases, in some contexts, so I, I guess we can add that in there. And educational bug facts and do-it-yourself arts and crafts. Short trivial bug videos in both realistic and fictional bugs and making Animal Crossing related items. Whether from the games or anything with Animal Crossing on it. Like how to make an Isabel shaped cake. In round 1, match 5. Flick will face Bulborn. The nun cosplaying yo yo wielding teddy bear hugging cutie patootie. It's Bridget! The fan favorite girl of the decade has stopped by just. for fun? Hmm. Straight out of Guilty Gear. Bridget will bring to this channel anything relating to Guilty Gear and fighting games noticeable in EVO, like Guilty Gear Strive, Street Fighter, Tekken, King of Fighters, and several other games that have appeared on EVO. Memes and anything relating to Bridget herself, LGBTQ plus content, and anything relating to Blahaj. What? Blohai? Oh, that's right, it's Swedish. So, it could be a plush series dedicated to Bridget. How to take care of blow eyes. Subreddit. Do, 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 we, do we really have to do, like, Reddit memes? I feel like we are, like, not gonna do that. And pretty much anything relating to her song, The Town Inside Me. In round one, match eight, Bridget will face Edamame. What do you mean we only have one contestant left? It seems that at the last minute, Hatsune Miku joined Maria to form a team without letting us know. Oh, someone's in trouble. But uh, who can fill in the last slot at this time? I don't know. There's not a single person I know who can fill in this spot this time. What about them over there? Not in a million years. Go on, you two. Get out. Ow, 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 ow. <sighs> How did we let Miku join with Marina without telling me in the first place? I don't know, darling. I'm just a host. Wait. Did you know they merge? I mean, you saw them first, right? Oh, yes. I did see them first, but, uh... They never told me that they joined at all. Uh, I guess they uh, did not tell me whatsoever. <sighs> so yeah, I think it's kind of their fault, you know. Mm. Well, I'm going to have a little talk with those two before round one. Until then, we need to find our last competitor. Estevan, Longboy, I'm counting on both of you. Well, uh, got any ideas? Got any friends? Well, I have a many, but I think everyone is quite busy today. Oh, uh, well. I mean, it's just finding one person. The pressure isn't that bad. Oh, uh, by the way, if you can't find anyone in the next 30 minutes, you're both fired. Nice lip service, Logan. Now we're both screwed. Shoot. Wait, he said anyone, didn't he? Uh, where are you going with this, long boy honey? If he wants a competitor, oh, we'll go get him one, all right. You're not looking at me, are you? A few minutes later. All right, 30 minutes has passed. It better be good. Oh, Craig, darling. Oh, you're going to like this. Prepare to meet your final contestant. Ooh, I wonder who it is. Yo, Craig, what's up? Bonaparte? You two chose my brother? You said anyone, 
didn't you? I set the bar low again for the two of you, didn't I? All right, I guess you can join. Okay, uh, that's cool. So, uh, what am I supposed to do here in this tournament anyway? You're in a tournament, and if you win, you get to have a series or genre added to the channel. But since we've been making Pokemon content for a couple years, you being in it would just, you know, add more what we already have. So, any ideas or scrap plans you want to resurface? I know you've always wanted to make that Pokemon DX tournament video. It's been, what, a couple years? Nobody plays that game anymore. And you're not even Unite, so we can't make uh, videos based on that. Huh. What about Gen 4 Nostalgia? Huh? Gen 4 Nostalgia. I mean... It's the most nostalgic generation by far. All generations are nostalgic, depending on one's person to another. The elder brother of the Mizutori brothers makes a crushing tidal wave of an entrance. It's me! Own apart, Mizutori! My sheer boldness, along with a never ending water drip and cutting edge steel, will tighten the lost hearts of women. Hey! Hey! What are you laughing at? Ugh, who am I kidding? If I win this contest, the things that you'll see on this channel will be anything relating to my staff. So, anyone at the Craig's Corner Studios, so I guess we can make videos about ourselves, I guess. And finally, memes and anything relating to the Pokemon originating from the Sinnoh region and content from the Gen 4 Pokemon game, both mainline and spin-off. So for example, we could be making stuff relating to anything in Pokemon Platinum, Battle Revolution, Mystery Dungeon, more notably Explorers of Sky, and Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almia, for example. Oh, and please note that we will not be doing content relating to the Diamond and Pearl remakes. I don't know how we all managed to screw that up. Sounds good to me. I'm ready for this match. Um, who am I going up against? Well, let's find out for ourselves. And now, finally, to wrap everything up, we're going to be starting our first match with Bonaparte Mizutori against Grape Coon. And I guess that wraps up everything. We got our 16 characters introduced in our double elimination format tournament. Yeah, we had to be very sure and make every match as equal as possible. Well, some maybe a little bit more balanced than others and others well look i have a good feeling there's going to be a lot of sweeping in this one but who knows do you have a favorite or two wait i'm going first well yeah because you have a job and with grape coot yep but isn't he dead the correct term is passed away and also, yeah, he's a spirit just chilling out for a little while. Penguin versus a penguin. I wonder who's gonna be lasting a little longer. Alright, I think it's time we told you everything you need to know about how to vote. Take it away, long boy. Come on, Logan, show us what you got. Um, I'm currently on my milk break, so uh, you're gonna have to go on without me. Unlike most YouTube tournaments, which usually involve music, this battle will involve two different fighters duking or dueling it out without music. Instead, we're going to be focusing on heavy storytelling. Each round will last for an unknown amount of time due to the increasing number of fighters, so you should subscribe to our YouTube channel right now and read what's on our community post for any news in the future. We plan the entirety of round 1 to last about around 2-3 to three months. The voting will take place on Google Forms, also, be careful, once you lock your vote in, 
You cannot change it. Your choice is permanent. Also, please vote responsibly. Don't just vote for someone you like. Because the opposing challenger may have better content to bring on this channel in the future. So don't vote for Violet because he sucks. <laughs> Why did I give him math? No one, no one wants to see math on his channel. That's stupid. Oh, oh wow. Maybe I, maybe I definitely should have done something a little bit better. No, anyways, anyways. 16 fighters in all. 15 losers shall fall. And only one winner to stand tall. Will your choice make the cut? I don't know. But we hope you're excited about this one-time event. Because this is, uh... Probably going to be the biggest event I've pulled off. Of course, I'd like to ask all of you to be very patient until further notice. Of course, we'll continue our usually monthly uploads. So, yeah. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you at the Choice Cuts Tournament Challenger Interviews. Hey, my name is Philbo. Subscribe to Craig's Corner. <laughs> 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 <laughs>